So this is the question that you guys need to answer. Calculate the standard reaction enthalpy of this reaction of calcite, better known to you guys as calcium carbonate, with hydrochloric acid. And these are all of your standard enthalpies of formation. And so to get this set up, I'm just going to kind of move this picture out of the way for the time being. Uh, and I'll move it back and down so you all can see it. But our reaction is the calcium carbonate reacting with two hydrochloric acids. Whoopsie. to give you the calcium chloride, water, and carbon dioxide. And then in the question, it gives you the standard enthalpies of formation for each of these five compounds. Now, if you didn't have this uh, little bit of information here, all you would have to do is go to the back of any good chemistry textbook and you would be able to look this information up in a table. So for our cases, let's go to blue. Um, we've got calcium carbonate or calcite has a standard enthalpy of formation of negative 1206.9 and all of these units are kilojoules per mole and hydrochloric acid is negative 167.16 calcium chloride is negative 877.1 Water is negative 285.83. And then last but not least, carbon dioxide is negative 393.51. So whenever you are trying to find the delta H for the overall reaction, the whole thing, if you remember from the earlier video, you take the sum of the delta H's of the products and subtract the sum of the delta H's of the reactants. Yeah, there were, you know, mole ratios in here and, and you know, there was the delta H of formation specifically, but this is just kind of a shorthand version of that equation. So that's actually what I'm gonna set up. Um, starting with my products. So my products are all of these guys right here. And they all have coefficients of one in front of them. So I actually don't have to multiply these delta HFs, the, the change in enthalpy of formation of any of these guys. I don't have to multiply them by any coefficients. So for my products, I'm gonna have negative 877.1 plus negative 285.83 plus negative 393.51. So all of the products added together, that's what this funky little symbol means right here. And then I'm gonna subtract all of my reactants. And so for my reactants, I have one calcium carbonate, so negative 1206.9, plus I have two hydrochloric acids, so I'm gonna take two times the delta H of HCl, or negative 167.16. And so all I did was I took my delta HFs of my products, and I subtracted my delta HF of the reactant. So I'm gonna do this in a kind of step-by-step -step process. And first I'm gonna add up all of my enthalpies of my products. And so this works out to be negative 1556.44. And remember, the units on these are all kilojoules per mole. So I, it's okay that I'm adding them up. And then I subtract from that this whole thing adds up to be negative 1541.22. And so now to 
do the final solving for this. Remember, subtracting a negative is just like adding a positive. And so this is going to work out to be negative 15.22 kilojoules. And the reason that the unit on this is kilojoules as opposed to kilojoules per mole is because I multiplied every single enthalpy by the number of moles. And so like if I was to kind of set this up, it would be two moles times negative 167.16 kilojoules per Moles. So the moles are going to cancel out, and that's why the final units are kilojoules and not kilojoules per mole. Because I essentially did this with all of these, except on all these other guys, the coefficient was just one. And so, you know, one times something is still that same something. And because this sign here is negative, that means that this reaction was exothermic.